All right, this is the radiator support, the whole shebang, one side to the other. And that's the side that the fender was bent in the wreck, but not so much the bumper. The bumper's just barely tweaked. Surprisingly, this side, of course, this side's got some more rust on it. This side looks like you could just lay that against the wooden block and pop that back out. But technically speaking, you don't need the whole thing. What you can do is these things are, that's a piece, that's a piece, that's a piece, that's a piece, and it's spot welded together. So technically, you could just save this side in case you ever needed it. I'd first get that out just to just to put it up. I would I would spray paint that with something and save it, even though it's pretty rough on the bottom. But that is the top piece that people see when they open the hood, and there is the front part that holds the grill, and there is the driver's side where you wrecked your car. So I did my very best to leave every hole and not burn them out with a torch or anything crazy like that. But, okay, so here's the flaw, if it matters. It may not matter. This cradle down here that holds the radiator, the shape and the pattern is mostly there, but this was touching the ground when it sat for 50 years. And do you see how that's in a separate piece right there? See this seam right here? You could pop that loose and use your piece and then tack it back. Bzz, 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 bzz. That's how they're put together. Or leave it like it is, cut this out with a die grinder here and here and put a flat piece of metal down here to hold the bottom edge of the radiator. See how it's got the shape and everything? You just need to cut this edge right here and weld in a flat piece. See, that's on the bottom, nobody would see it, but it's all workable material. So that's the flaw. See that? But the edges are there, so you've got something to work with. But this is what you're really needing, this side right here. And it's pretty damn solid. See, I had to burn this, I tried to burn this rubber piece out right here that went down to the frame. It caught on fire, so that's why it's all black looking. Anyway, so on this side, the only major flaw is that little edge. And all you have to do is trim that out and weld in a little piece right there, spray paint it back, wire brush it. But that piece right there, you could either take your old one and piece it with it, or Cut that rust piece out of the bottom and weld in a piece of flat metal to hold the base bottom edge of the radiator. So, see, this is the side you need right here, solid. I even left this loop right here, see where I had to grind this thing out? It took me hours, hours to get that sucker out without damaging this area right here. This was a tab right here. See, it has a slot. Anyway, the inner fender comes to here and overlaps and then the fender comes under this edge. Anyway, so there you go. There's the headlight side. That side is great. This is the top edge when you open the hood. That piece is perfect. See the rubber stop right here where your hood comes down. Here's the front side. That's the side you need, but you can use the whole thing. That that little dip right there, I think you can put that against a block of wood. <coughs> See how that looks versus that? There's really not much bent right there. I think you could just pop that out right there. But I would actually save that piece. I would, I would clip it there, clip it there, 
use your other piece, save that and put it up. That's so rare, you'll never find a radiator support. If somebody removes a radiator support for you, they're gonna cut everything. You know, I worked hours and hours and hours for several days making sure I retained all your holes. See this? This is the good side. And that is the flaw. You see how it's got seams? See, that can be wire brushed right there. See how that's spot welded? You can pop all that loose and use pieces of this radiator support. See how that's a seam right there where my thumb is? That's, that's spot welded. All right, there's the back side of your headlights. So this cradle is really the only issue. It's some touch-up work. And this is the top edge that you see when you open the hood. See how perfect it is? And I'll tell you what, that about killed me. See how the radiator, the bottom edge of the radiator sits right there. All you have to do is weld a piece in the bottom. Cut this edge and this edge and cut a piece and put it in there. That solid, that solid up to here. So cut this out. Or pop yours loose right there and there. And stick your bottom piece in there or fix this one. So you've actually got a backup from this one and your other one, but I think yours is bent on this side from your wreck. So that's the perfect side. With one little flaw and that might need touched up if you want that to be different, but that'll work. You just need a big washer. See how it slotted and that had a tab right there that bent over. I had to grind that tab down, but you can that's insignificant. Nobody can even see that. Anyway, it needs to be sandblasted, painted if you're going to have a show car. This piece is perfect. Actually, if yours is somehow different, I don't think it is on the Wildcat, you can pop that loose there and there. Or it may unbolt right there. You put your piece in where the center of the grill comes to the middle right there. Anyway, Look at that baby. Look how meticulous I was taking all that apart. Anyway, there's no way in hell I could take less than 300 a piece. I've worked myself to the bone. Look how nasty I am. Sore. It's like 3 in the morning. I'm exhausted. Alright, so I'm gonna... I've got a cash app. Uh, I think it's uh, my phone number, 706-781-8221. I've got another phone, but the, the number you've been calling is 781-7969, 706-781-7969. But my cash app phone number is 706-781-8221, and it's technical items is my cash app name. I'll screenshot it and send it to you. And if you want to buy it, you need to try to do it tomorrow so I can promise these to you. And I've dissected my car, so I don't have to change the eBay listing. These two pieces, $600 only for you, nobody else. Or I'm going to list them. My cash app is technical items, 706-781-8221. I may be asleep, just send the money over. I'll take some white masking tape. I'll write your name on there. I'll give you 60 days. Figure out how you want to come get them or ship them. And I reckon we've made buddies, so you trust me. Anyway, I'll put your name on it in case something happens to me. I'll take white tape and a Sharpie and write your name down that piece and that piece and put it in my shop in there. So if something ever happened to me, my mom would see it. You can get your parts, and I'll hold these for 60 days. So you decide what you want to do. You can get you shipped to pick them up. You can drive down to get them, or um, get somebody to pick them up. But my shop's on the highway. Outside this door is the main highway. 
I could set them outside if somebody was to happen to be passing by and pick these up and bring them up to you in Ohio. So there you go. Inner fender radiator support.